Welcome to the Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Prime Minister Mark Phillips started off the week reminding Guyanese that we are all part of this great country of ours. I am happy to be here with you this morning as we launch the seventh edition of the Prime Minister T20 Cup. This Prime Minister T20 Cup is really about ensuring everybody can be part of this tournament. Age is not a barrier because we have different categories, right? We got the over 50, over 40, we got the open or all ages, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Everybody can play. Meanwhile, senior minister in the office of the president with responsibility for finance, Dr. Ashney Singh, encouraged Guyanese entrepreneurs to take advantage of the huge business opportunities as Guyana continues on its rapid development path. We live today in a period when entrepreneurial opportunities abound at a scale with a frequency and rapidity that has hitherto never been seen. This isn't the 1980s when you had to really scour the landscape to find an opportunity of a good, bus a good business opportunity. The Guyanese economy today is growing by leaps and bounds. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs involved the relevant stakeholders as government prepares to address the labor needs of the country while its development priorities continue. In terms of public private sector working, I think uh, coming off from this new point, I think it's, it's important. Um, but also it has to come part of that whole wide engagement and people becoming very much aware and, and understand what is taking place and the opportunities out there. Um, but it has to be done with this coordinated approach. It's, it's not going to have a, you know, one for one entity or one site to having that conversation. It's not going to work. You know, both public, private, you know, the communities and everyone else must be on board in terms of, of how do we address that that issue. The Ministry of Health graduated its first batch of 29 pharmacy assistants from Region 6, and the Minister of Health encouraged the graduates to continue their studies as the country charters the course to delivering world-class health care. To move from being maybe a pharmacy assistant to now thinking about doing pharmacy, there's a three-year program at the University of Guyana so that you can become a pharmacist. And even beyond becoming a pharmacist where you have a bachelor's degree, maybe think about going and do a master's, think about doing a PhD. Minister of Armour Indian Affairs Pauline Sukai journeyed to Masakanari Region 9 to offer condolences and comfort to grieving families following a tragic accident that claimed the lives of three children in the Essequibo River. For us as a government, we want you to know that our government is with you. You're not alone. We're here to grieve with you. We learned of the accident that occurred Friday night. And uh, for us, it is tragic. And... Uh, we want to make sure that you know that we hurt with you and we grieve with you. And so I am assigned to come and visit and to see to show Paul and the families. The Ministry of Home Affairs introduced cashless payment options in collaboration with Mobile Money Guyana Incorporated MMG, for the Guyana Prison Service and the Guyana Fire Service to improve the efficiencies of service deliveries by the agencies. It's important because we know the frustrations people have had with making payments simply the question of traveling to make the payments 
I don't necessarily have to speak about the, um, some steps people have to call up to. We don't have to talk to the question of whether people are actually there to do the paperwork and to sign off issues in relation to those payments. These issues are critically important where people have to spend more quality time improving lives, improving efficiency, and creating a more holistic environment where we work together to provide proper services to people. A new 294 million magistrates court was commissioned at vigilance on the east coast of Demerara by Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal, who said that the new edifice is a demonstration of government's commitment in ensuring citizens have access to justice. It demonstrates vividly the government's commitment to invest heavily in the judicial system and in the legal system of our country. And it demonstrates vividly the government's commitment to upholding the rule of law and ensuring that there is equal and ready access to justice right across the length and breadth of our country. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll led a site visit to Great Diamond and neighboring villages where land preparation works is underway in blocks 1, 7, 11, and 13, despite some delays. Work is progressing and around 5,000 Guyanese will have access to more than 17 acres of newly created housing development. So it's massive work that is taking place. Um, right now, you don't get to see this because you don't drive in the back here. Uh, I, so I don't think persons realize or appreciate what is happening. When you, you know, when you previously when you fly over, all you're seeing is bush. But eventually, a year from two years from now, you'll all see buildings start going up in on these areas. Approximately 35 organizations representing Afro-Guyanese communities around the country got funding totaling just over $1.8 million for a variety of initiatives. The third Agri-Investment Forum and Exhibition with the team Accelerating Investment in Vision 25 by 2025 was launched on Friday to progress the measures that would achieve CARICOM's Vision 25 by 2025 aim. The forum and expo will provide a platform to deliberate, discuss, strategize, and measure the region's progress since the formation of the Ministerial Task Force to drive food production and reduce the Caribbean's food import bill. We will discuss vital topics, ensuring that our actions are not only impactful today, but also sustainable for generations to come. It is the expectation that together we will explore innovative financing models, harness cutting-edge technologies, and amplify the impact of our collective efforts to propel us forward to a future filled with possibilities. We had agreed to some extra doing their duty-free shop at the Chetty Jagan International Airport. And from all indications, both what is observed and the responses that we have gotten from customers, it enhanced and added value to what we did at Chetty Jagan International Airport. And it was based upon that quality of service, the ambience, the, the line of products, customer satisfaction, that I had no hesitation in agreeing for them to engage here at Molson Creek. This brings us to the end of this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related information, do log on to our website, dpi.gov.gy, and our social media platforms as well. 
goodbye.